Great beat the more back. How y'all doing? It's a beautiful, beautiful day today. I want to talk about something really serious today because there's been a lot of miseducation going on in this world. And because of the miseducation, you must subscribe to La Amiga. Hit the subscribe button right now because a lot of these videos, you're going to be like, I need to be making sure that I get notified when this dude come up here. Because as you see the title of the video, you're going to see what I'm talking about. Ever go to Bible study? If you, if you have ever went to Bible study and you never had a metaphysical Bible dictionary, y'all was just there to hang out. Ain't nobody who got a good hustle going to teach you how to break their hustle. Great beard, you still ain't telling me how Jesus ain't died for my sins. Ha! Ah, I had to teach you first. Then many of the Jews which came to Mary and had seen the things which Jesus did believed on him. It was some people who was like, yo, I like what Jesus talked about. I like what he's saying. He talked about the church is me. I don't have to give out 10% of my offerings to the pastor when the pastor is supposed to give the offering to the church according to Malachi 3rd chapter. Did y'all read Malachi 3rd chapter? Do you know he's supposed to pay tithes? The pastor. Because that's his house. You're supposed to pay tithes for your house. The storehouse means your house. When it says bring the tithe to the storehouse, you're supposed to bring the tithe to the storehouse. Our ancestors tell us how to save money so we won't be broke and bumming money from people. So when we make money, we're supposed to take 10% of it and bring it to our storehouse, not somebody else's storehouse. Malachi 3rd chapter, read it. But some of them went their ways to the Pharisees and told them what things Jesus had done. Great big, yeah, who are the Pharisees? Let's talk about it. Nobody never teaches who the Pharisees were, but we learned to go to church. The Pharisees and the Sadducees and stuff like that. Here, here's who the Pharisees was. Y'all ready? No, y'all not. Because when I read it, it's going to be like, dang, I didn't know that was a call of Pharisee. Pharisees is a Jewish sect that flourished at the time of Jesus Christ and his apostles. They were opposed to Jesus and his teaching. Who was opposed to Jesus and his teaching? The Pharisees. Who were the Pharisees? The Pharisees were the religiously educated of Jesus' day. Huh. Y'all get these people right here? All the religiously educated people out there. How y'all doing? Y'all Pharisees. Watch this. They were the religiously educated of Jesus' day. And to their minds, and to the Pharisees' minds, all who claimed to do the works of the Lord were spurned unless they were members of the Pharisee cult. So everybody who was not a part of my church, they are the devil. That's what the Pharisees think. And the Pharisees are also church people. Matthew 23 talks in depth about the Pharisees and how Jesus felt about the Pharisees. Oh, if you hear about how Jesus talked about church people, you would be like, oh, for real. Read, Mark, read Matthew 23 and you'll read Jesus talking about people who go to church. Hallelujah. The Pharisee, no matter how good the work of the outsider no matter how good the work of the outsider, the Pharisee church people always attributed to an evil power. Always. 
Don't you know some church people like that? Every time you talk to them about something that's outside of their realm of knowledge, they be like, hmm, that's demonic. Or that's, that's Satan. That's this and that. Are you like that? Remember, your mind is like a parachute. It only works when it's open. <laughs>